Here is my Western Electric 500 from 1978. It's in the lovely bright yellow colour. Um, now I was hoping this would match my GPO 746 in the topaz yellow, but it was a little bit brighter when I received this than my 746 in the topaz yellow, um, which was unfortunate because I wanted them to match, but never mind. Um, anyway, the phone's in very good condition and it's a lovely design. I love the look of the um, Western Electric 500 phones. I just think they've got a really cool design. There's the handset. It says um, Bell System Property Not For Sale, Western Electric. There's the receiver. There's the transmitter. And it also says on the back, um, Bell System made by Western Electric, as you can see. Carry handle there. Um, a couple of cool things about the handset when you're receiving a call or dialing out is that if you receive a call, you can rest the handset there. If the call's not for you and you have to go get someone else to answer the phone, then you can just rest it across like that. Or if you dial it out, you can rest it like that so you don't have to hold it. So it's just a couple of cool things about it. So here's the dial. It's an alphanumeric dial, as you can see. Very typical of an American phone. Um, operator would be zero. Of course, in the UK, it's 100. And as you can see, or here, I should say, the dial has a very smooth sound to it. It's hardly any clicking. In fact, there's, there's like no clicking at all. Very, very smooth. Very satisfying. The finger stop is sort of offset compared to a British phone. It normally here on a British phone, the more that way on an American phone. No, that not that that makes a difference, but anyway, it's just the design. Um, so I'll show you the base. So there's the bells. Um, they're on the side at the back of the phone, unlike a GPO 700 series where it has it under the dial at the front there. Um, there's also a bell adjustment, but it's not very good. It doesn't really make much of a difference, to be honest. So there's the feet. Two of them at the back look older. I'm not sure if they, uh, they're the original and these two have been replaced. I could be wrong, but... Anyway, as you can see, it says 500DM, 478, so that's um, April 1978, I believe. Um, and it says... Property of Central Bell, not for sale. Bell System property, not for sale. So it might have been refurbished, this. The base does look like it's been badly painted, so maybe it was. Fortunately, the housing hasn't been uh, painted, because I believe they did paint some of these um, how, uh, housings. But anyway, the uh, line, the curly card, sorry, is quite short for one of these types of phones. They normally have quite long curly cards. But with it being modular, I could get a longer one if I wanted to. But anyway, um, as you've also probably noticed, I've got a um, British dial label in there. So you American collectors may be cringing. <laughs> um, but I didn't have a, um American um, dial card to go in there. So I just used what I had. So it didn't look empty. But anyway, never mind. Um, since we've um, moved over from... BT to Sky now. Uh, I can't use the ring back facility number anymore, it doesn't work. Um, so I'm just going to have to use my mum's iPhone to uh, ring the phone. And I'll ring this phone from the Western Electric to show that it works properly. So here goes. It's dial tone. I'm not sure if I said, but the uh, switch hooks match the dial with them being clear, which is cool. So here goes. So there you go. And I'll show you the uh, ringer. I think, she, yeah, she's got a passcode on here, so I'm going to have to use Siri to call it. Um, now, I love the um, noise, the, sorry, the ring of an American Western Electric 500. The bells just have a lovely high pitch 
chime to them, they just sound really nice I think. Um, of course with it being plugged into a UK phone line it will ring like a British phone would so it wouldn't have the American one long burst of a ring. It will be like ring ring so it's more interesting I suppose. Um, if you're not used to hearing one of these phones sound like that. So anyway, I shall shut up and just get on with it. <laughs> anyway, here goes. Call home. Calling home. So here's what the ringer sounds like. So there you go. And uh, sorry about the lighting changes in here, I'm using artificial light, unfortunately.